How are we doing everybody? Welcome back to Talking Walls and welcome back to a brand new transfer rumour video today. It looks like Walls are going to be getting a January transfer after all. Uh, William Jote from Real Sociedad looks like he is going to be a striker to come in and join Wolves at Molyneux uh, for the remainder of the season. We're going to be talking about the Brazilian striker on today's video. We're going to be telling you where the news came from, giving you a little bit of insight on the forward as well. But it's always great to hear your thoughts, so let me know what you think of this imminent transfer in the comments section uh, down below. Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe, and you may well see a little join button now if you wish to join as a Talky Wolves season ticket holder and help support us uh, monthly. Be sure to check that out. Uh, all of that is uh, very much appreciated. So, uh, William uh, Willian Jose, uh, it looks like he is going to be signing on loan with a potential option to buy from Real Sociedad over in Spain. Um, interesting one, really, because it's come out of the blue, come out of nowhere, really. No real links to it prior to this evening. Uh, I actually had a different video planned to upload this evening. Uh, as I was about to click go live on it, uh, this news came out, I thought, so I'd give give you the uh, the news on this one uh, instead. So it was broken today uh, by, I believe, a page very close uh, to uh, Sociedad, which is... Uh, so SER Deportivos, that's how I'm going to say. Um, and they uh, announced the news, really, along with other things uh, regarding Sociedad at the moment, uh, regarding Martin Udegaard, who's looking to sign. And then William and Joe say they're saying Wolverhampton... Are in talks, a deal has been agreed, just waiting on the option to buy. Now, you may well see he's actually playing this evening uh, for the Spanish side in their cup game. Um, and they've rotated that side a lot, apparently, so he's classed as a sort of fringe player right now. Um, he's got a really decent record over the last couple of years. Um, and if you have a watch of him, he seems very similar to Raul Jimenez. And I think that's what Wolves have been missing, haven't they? He's got that experience, which I think a lot of fans will want. 29 years of age, obviously... Born um, born in Brazil, played it in Brazil for uh, early parts of his career, moved across to Spain uh, where he played for uh, uh, Real Madrid C team, uh, well, the Castilla side, um, join, and then went on to join uh, Zaragoza, uh, Las Palmas, and he's been playing for Sociedad for the last sort of uh, four years or so, coming up to five seasons. But yeah, like I say, this season his he's game time has been a little bit... Uh, restricted he's played he started less than half the games he started 42 percent of the games to be precise and only 40 had only 40 percent of the minutes that have been available for him uh, as a striker so it's clear that uh Sociedad will want to see him move on or at least give him game time or at least sort of make their money on him uh at, right now at 29 it's probably sort of the latter end of his peak so he's still up there uh, but you, you look at some of his his records and his actual uh, his numbers whilst playing in Spain uh, for uh, Real Sociedad, and he scored sixty goals in one hundred and sixty nine games in all competitions. For me, that's a really really decent record in the Europa League overall for the club. He scored six goals in twelve. Um, and it's not just that, he provides the assists as well, which I think Raul did a lot. He's got 15 assists uh, during his time at Sociedad. As Zaragoza as well, he scored 10 goals in 38. Uh, across in Las Palmas, when he played in Spain, 10 goals in 34. So he's a striker that's really capable of doing that. Um, in the league, 52 goals uh, for Sociedad, and that's in La Liga. Um, so to be getting that sort of record over the last sort of three years or so, three or four years... I think, you know, we're on to possibly a winner here. We're on to possibly getting a, a good striker. I looked at the sort of more in-depth, sort of nerdy stats, uh, let's say, on, on William Jose as well. And uh, if we scroll all the way down, wherever I've found it now, um, if we scroll all the way down to here, uh, we look at his goals. Uh, he was up there last season, uh, scored 11 goals in the league, which was 10th highest uh, in La Liga. Uh, his, his XG, if you're into that sort of stuff, expected goals is very, very decent as well. And his non-penalty goals, you know, he, he's up there this season as well. Shots on target percentage. He's getting over 60% of his shots on target, which for a striker is very, very decent. So, you know what? I'm looking forward to this, this transfer. Uh, like I said, broken today uh, by that Twitter page. I, I really do apologise that I cannot pronounce uh, S-E-R. Deportivos, uh, and then quickly echoed by the likes of um, Tim Spears, Fabrizio Romano as well, uh, Telegraph as well, John Percy has confirmed it. 
So the, the actual situation regarding the transfer right now, obviously it's got to get the clearance regard, uh, with the Premier League for the registration. Um, it looks like the transfer won't be confirmed till next week. So obviously we won't see him for the Chorley game. Very, very tight anyway. Possibly won't see him for the Chelsea game. So at the very best, we'll probably see him for the Palace game um, next weekend. If not, it will probably go into the Arsenal game as well. Now, where does this leave the likes of Patrick Atrone and so on? Well, there's a rumour that if uh, William Jose joins Wolves, uh, that Patrick Atrone will be free to leave the club again, which I can understand. Um, it's, uh, you know, it was rumoured like a couple of days ago that that was going to be the case. Uh, and things have been happening so quickly, as they always do with Wolves. But I would argue, you know, a lot of fans, a lot of us have been asking possibly to see his revert back to a back five. You know, I would probably keep Petrona. You know, Wolf said when they, they brought him back, he was going to be with the squad for the remainder of the season. Yes, I know Nuno probably wanted a couple of weeks to, to look at him and see if he's improved in training and so on. But I would keep Catrona because if we go with a back five, you could play a 5-3-2 with Fabio Silva, uh, William Jose or Patrick Catrone as your three strikers to rotate in and around that formation. I think having that flexibility and that depth is what we've needed. And all we need is Jose or Silva to get injured again and we're back to square one. So I'd argue we should we should keep him really, especially until the summer, uh, see what the situation is like with him and Ez and, and so on. But yeah, looking forward to this one. William Jose to Wolves on loan with a potential option to buy. Let me know your thoughts on this one, guys, in the comment section down below. Are you excited to see Wolves actually sign a striker? He's a name that I've heard a lot before, um, and I've just literally it's just popped up on my screen that he scored the opening goal for Sociedad in their cup game as well. So uh, yeah, <laughs> good timing. Uh, yeah, so let me know your thoughts, guys. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll see you all very very soon.